Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. We are talking about the handheld device now. <clears throat> Last time we made it receive data from, from the measurement device. Now I want to display this data on a DFT display. Here is a DFT display. It's a 1.77 inch DFT display, RGB display. I don't know how this will look like and stuff, uh, so I want to try. Here on the back side, I do have uh, uh, written what 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 is uh, how to connect it, and I'm only using the pins one to eight. These are those pins one, one to eight. Those pins. So at one, I must use ground. Use ground here at one. At two, I have uh, five volts. I will grab this five volts here from the USB. Okay. USB V in here should be five volts. All right. Or I will try if it also works with with uh, three to three volts. Let's see if this is can be operated at three to three volts. I know, I know that the clock inputs and so on they are only three to three volt tolerable. So this is also a reason why I'm using this ESP device because it's three to three volt. Then we have the clock SCK and this is T5 and T5 is here. This is a blue one. I will use the blue color as well. Next pin. Clock from SBI bus. Yeah. Good. Next pin. Serial data. This is a MOSI. This is T7. T7 is the green. green one. I only have to use MOSI but not MISO because apparently this is not sending back something. Then uh, reset. I have to use Another, another for reset, another pin. I will use here this, what is this? D8, D8, D8 is reset. No, I will use D2 as reset. Okay, then RS, register select, register select, I will use D1. All right. Then we have chip select and here chip select I will use D8. This is not the same chip select as I've used for this NRF because either when I'm communicating by SPI bus uh, I have to select the chip and either I select the NRF or I select the DFT display. This is why I need two different uh, chip selects. And then we have LED A, so uh, the background light. I'll use D0 for that. Which color? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's a lot of white. Okay, I'm used, I've used quite some, some pins. Now plug this in here. Good. Plug this in here. Uh huh. There was a short flash. See if this happens again. Yes. Good. And now it stays black. All right. All right. So this is the hardware setup. Hardware setup. I think it's correct. Yeah. Let's switch to the computer. Let's program this. So the first thing I want to do at the computer is see if this is still working. So I just open the serial monitor and see if I'm getting printouts. Grab temperature sensor. Uh, looking good. Looking good. 23 degree. Okay. This is still working. So. But just by adding this um, <laughs> DFT display, 
it still works. So actually what I have to do, I have to download, uh, uh, there is a ST7735 driver on this TFT display. So I have to download the uh, according library, install, download and install Arduino library. And here, this should be the correct one. Yeah. This from other fruit. Yes. Install all dependencies, please. Uh -huh. Oof. <laughs> uh, these I don't need. I also don't need. What is this? I ain't got Caesar. Neutralis. I only need this one. Uh, the 77. And I think this should be sufficient. So, TFT. Uh, it's called other fruit. TFT. And uh, how to call this? There must then be somewhere. Chip select. Okay, chip select. This is D. D8, I've said. Then uh, this, this is the, the register select. Puh, I forgot the register select. What was this? Look in the data sheet. Chip uh, select, register select. Uh, the third, this orange line. And the orange line is D1. And then reset is 5. This is the yellow line, and the yellow line is D2. Mm -hmm. Plug this. <coughs> and then we have uh, hashtag define. Uh, Backlight pin, and this was D0. In setup, I will say pin mode. Backlight pin, output. Okay, and I will say digital write. I will just turn it on. Good, so this should turn on the backlight. And then, here I have to write something, this I can forget. I'll make tft dot init r, init r, green tab, tft dot fill screen, Let's see what is happening. Upload. Okay, the backlight is on. Okay, and I see some, some scrambled stuff. <sighs> okay, I want to see something here. I want to see something here. Hmm. DFT dot, what is this? Uh huh. So okay, now now I added a new library, Adafruit GFK, and now I can do other thing. I shall call a clear screen or field screen. Now now I see a field screen. Black. I want to fill it black. Let's see what is going on. If this is still still scrambled, if this is working now. This is working now, then we should see a, a black, black content here. I added those lines. I added this. Okay. All right. Looks black. I'll draw now something. Just to be sure it's working. DFT dot. Uh, uh, 
row circle. And we make it at 100, 100, 50, 50, whatever this means. And color, blue. Position, middle position, uh, now it should work. Upload. Always forgetting to turn off the camera overlay. I'm not sure what this is. At the edges, at the edges I do have some noisy pattern. Oh, this is not blue, <laughs> but it's a circle. You see that? I can't see it, I guess. There is a circle now drawn. Hmm. This is not blue. Draw. Can I feel? Hmm. Can I feel this? I will try it. Does not fit perfect. Now it should be. Now it should be a bigger circle. Let's see if I can manage to show you. Yeah, now you see the circles. All right. So this worked. It is for sure not. It is for sure not <laughs> blue. Yeah, uh, but alright. <laughs> Maybe if I turn off. Ah, now you see it much better. Uh, look. <laughs> Good, let's write something. Let's write a message. TFT dot set cursor to zero zero. TFT dot write. Hmm. How to write a text? Uh, print, uh, looks good, print, hello, this is Heinz. And I want to set now, if this is red, let's see what is red, <laughs> uh, set text color, SD77, red, upload. Then I know where the top left corner is. <laughs> These are the currently don't know. Top left corner. 100, 100. Should be here, I guess. The top left corner. Hello, this is Heinz. Alright, so it's written in, in this direction. Hello, this is Heinz. And it's blue. Red is blue and blue is red. What is green then? Hmm. 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 There must be something wrong. What is what is this number? One F is blue. It's blue. It's red. And this X X F eight zero zero. Let's try green. What is green? Aha. It looks like this is somehow coded the color. Uh -huh. I guess this is correct. Mm -hmm. Green seems to be green and it's overlay. I can, I can, uh, I can adjust it exactly per pixel. So you see, it's overly okay. This is also good to know why this fill screen is not working pretty well. I don't know. DFD fill rect. Make it like this. So we have it zero, zero, and we have which, how, how many. Pixels do we have here? Data sheet. 
160, oh, it's written, <laughs> it's written, 160 by 128, color, and now write it simply zero, let's see, now this, this noisy stuff here, at the edges, this should be gone, writing, Not gone. Hmm. Is the white? Yes. Draw a white rectangle, but only the rectangle, not a fill rectangle. Let's see what is happening here. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, it seems like this is not, this is not there, well, it's also the wrong order, what is, if I say minus one, because zero, zero seems to be here. <laughs> seems like I have to look into this a little bit more getting to know this this device at least it's working all right this was the goal of this video that it's working that we can print something out if it's not entirely pretty but i have to deal with this a little bit more and explore the functionalities of this driver and stuff and so on we'll see nothing changed minus really nothing changed so i guess i have to live with that that there is noise at the edge. Why? Why? I uh, It's working, okay? Let's, let's focus on the bright side. Uh, it's working, I can display something. Uh, we will see how this, and I'm still receiving, I'm still receiving, I can display something. So uh, next step is then getting to know uh, this DFD display a little bit better. I will do this uh, offline, I will not show you, but I will present you afterwards what I found out and so on. This will be in the next video then, for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.